Sleep. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's good. We needed our rig to just look a little more schlummy. Forty-four degrees. More importantly, we are at this beautiful, beautiful campsite, campground, Navajo National Monument. It's north of Flagstaff. It's on the way to Bluff, which is just south of Monument Valley, and we've already done this. But we just—it was late last night. It wasn't too late. It was like six o'clock, and we wanted a place to just kind of like park. So we pulled up our All Stays app. We found this place, we came in at dark, we had no idea what we were pulling into. I don't know if the video can capture how beautiful this is behind me, but there's just a little bit of snow everywhere. The kids had a snowball fight last Where's night. Where's Carson? DIY Caleb here. Yes, these are socks. These sites are really small. We ended up finding a long parallel spot. It worked out pretty well, but it's middle of winter. We're the only ones here. It's kind of the advantage of winter RVing. There's always availability, and you can kind of like sneak in on stuff like that. But anyway, this is not uh, this is not the place to stop at the big rig. Rifle Gap State Park. Oh my gosh, this place is beautiful. It's an amazing campground. It was recommended from a subscriber uh, to tell us to stay here, which by the way, we so appreciate getting recommendations like this when we tell people where we're gonna be and we start getting all the ideas of stay here, stay here. We would have never found this park otherwise. Uh, there is one big drawback. The cell phone coverage here is zero. And unfortunately, the name of the game right now is to get as much work as we possibly can get done before we get into Breckenridge. We found out that this lake was frozen over and the boys immediately wanted to go check out the frozen lake. Trish was kind of anti-frozen lake because she thinks the boys are going to like fall through the water and get all wet. And that's exactly what's going to happen, so she's right. But how do you not stop? Look at like when you get... Oh. So how come you're not out running around on the ice? Um, I have a few concerns. Yes, which is such a uh, falling through the uh, ice? Falling through the ice because I am heavier than they are. They're like He's doing pretty good out there. No Wait, more, no more. All right, slide again. Uh, Sorry to turn off the camera real quick just to remind these guys what the consequences are for getting too far out and having the ice break. We had a good little chat and we're back. Bad, bad dreams, 
I'll never let you go, Rose. I right, listen, stupid, you're gonna die. Wait, are we going? What'd you figure out? Not much, but we could, there's no service here, so I, I wanted to see what the weather was. Mm -hmm. So like if we got closer to Vail, what that would be like, but I can't really figure out anything. But <clears throat> Glenwood is not actually here. It's like another 30 minutes up oh, the Oh, so you want to go to Glenwood? Yeah, that might be better. Okay. This is amazing, son. This would be a heck of a park if you wanted to come out and just camp. Solitude. Solitude. It'd be amazing. Hang out with some friends, build some fires, like. Amazing. Camp. Mm -hmm. We're not camping. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> We're a mobile circus. Yeah. <laughs> Work camping. Work camping. Hold on to your fire. Hold on to your fire. All right, we are leaving River Dance RV Park in Eagle, Colorado. And it got down to about nine degrees last night. I don't think that. Trish, I can't hear you. Trish? The door's not closed. Trish? What, Trish? The door's not closed. No, I'm just joking. Trish is uh, a little under the weather. She's having a hard time talking. But we have been using our membership, our subscription, to RV Health. It's a telehealth deal for like $24 a month where basically we just log into our account, we schedule a phone call with a doc, we talk to a doc within like anywhere from a half hour to two hours later in any state that we're in. And so we got another call to the doc so that he could prescribe some meds. Cause I think it was just a simple little sore throat that kind of turned into an infection and I think we need to take care of it. What's up doc? The trip is really getting started right now because we are headed off to Tiger Run and we are gonna be there for 11 days. And we're so excited about it. Really, we're so excited about it. So, Anyhow, we're going to show you some really cool footage of the Colorado mountain on our hour and a half drive. Let's do this. Okay, we are coming into the town of Breckenridge and It's just super cool. I mean, there's just nothing else to say about it. And it is a Thursday today. It's supposed to snow Saturday and Sunday. We're of course gonna be inside the trailer just working on this weekend's video. Oh, you guys are gonna go. They're gonna be out having fun and it's gonna be snowing. So it's gonna be nothing but nice, delicious coffee, some chili, some tomato soup. Trish and I are out to go walk around Tiger Run. We want to get a lay of the land. Trish has got some laundry to do. We want to see where this so-called clubhouse is because we heard there was a pool and heated pool and ping pong table. What do we do in a situation like this? Do we tell, do we tell the boys or do we not tell the boys? Yes, you know why we tell them? Why? Because it takes quarters. And you know how you earn quarters? Yes. Chores. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Good. So this it is takes, an incentive room. It, it takes That's quarters it and it's not at our rig. And yes. it's far enough away. Did you ever see the episode with Everyone Loves Raymond? So anything within this circle is too close to my parents' house. Where he was talking about where to live. He had to be so far away from the in-laws, but not so far away that they couldn't stop for the day. Best zone, right? Raw! They become overnight guests. That's kind of like, kind of like this. It's just far enough away where they don't run back to ask us a question, but close enough. Could not be happier with how everything is set up. The hose is insulated with the foam, it's got the heat tape inside, we have running water even in these conditions. The uh, RV skirt, the Easy Snap RV skirt is completely keeping underneath the rim uh, rig warm. If you're prepared for cold winter camping and you've got the right tools, 
and you're in a location where you can actually have fun in the snow, like Breckenridge, it's so much fun. Here we are at the Breckenridge International Snow Castle Sculpture Contest. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and they are only allowed to use their handheld tools. Yes. No machine drilling or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, So anyway, we are gonna keep checking back in here on Breckenridge and we're gonna keep you posted. And we're gonna show you the progress as this episode continues. So We've got let's some go. true artisans behind us. Oh, it's so much fun. on Main, Main Street. You have to come and see Main Street if you are in Breck. It's so cute. Adorable. Victorian facades, adorable. It's the number one selling app. What is this? This is like crab infused jalapenos? Tempered? Yum. What is the plan? How can I help you? Um, Caleb's off somewhere buying cookies for everyone, but I don't know which store. But Tori just got a digital alert that he purchased the cookies, so we know he's around here purchasing cookies. <laughs> so we have to find him. The ball's down my jacket. I never did that. I faked it. No, you did it twice. <laughs> uh, no, I did it once. <laughs> and that time I see him. It. It. Oh, there he is. I see him. You do? <laughs> And this bag weighs like seven pounds. I could work out with this thing. One. But two, you don't work out with cookie three. bags. Oh. Oh. Hey, hands out of the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> My hand warmer is smoking. Alright, let me have a bite of that. Alright, so the lady at the cookie place was a skier, and there was a little tip jar for skiers and snowboarders. Yeah. So I donated through the computer two dollars. She took it out of the snowboarders and she put it in the skiers. Good morning. Today we are going snowshoeing and we're so excited about it. Yes! I can't wait to get some exercise. I know. We, uh, the one thing about winter camping that I would say is disadvantages is it's hard to get out and like run and work out. It's so much easier to stay in bed. <laughs> Hey. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. Caleb. Caleb, good to meet you. Victoria. Victoria. Carson. Carson, good to meet you guys. Right here at the Breckenridge Nordic Center, our trails all start directly right out the back of our building. So you can start on Willow, that's one of our mo most popular trails, it's a mile and a half. And then you'll end up at Josie's cabin. Trish? Yes. Josh says that the size of bag that you have, that he doesn't have snowshoes big enough to keep you up on top of the snow. <laughs> Yeah, sorry Trish. Okay. Insists I'm bringing he, such big bags. <laughs> he thinks he's super funny, but this is what he does. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. No, that's not I don't me. like going out to lunch. No, How come you don't bring it. anything? I'm editing all that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The best part about snowshoeing is that you want to take the less beaten paths. <laughs> you want to go for the harder route so you can get that sinking feeling. It's very satisfying.
that shot didn't quite work out the way I thought it was gonna work out. <laughs> There's branches under here. Hey, Trash, might need a hand. Let it go out there for you. How'd it go for me? Yeah. That was one of the most fun things we've done. You get to exercise. Yes. Explore the beauty. Yes. I would have loved to have seen a moose. Well, yeah, under any condition. <laughs> <laughs> Moose are always allowed. Nice and uh, nice and toasty. We're back in uh, Breckenridge Nordic in the, Village. The lodge. The lodge, which is an absolute beautiful home. It's a really neat place, and it's got a really cool vibe. And I'm actually kind of sorry. Not sorry, we didn't go cross country um, skiing, but I think that would have been a lot of oh, fun too. Yeah, you could come back here multiple times yeah. and have more things to do. The adventure continues. Gene, the owner of Nordic Ski Center has invited us on this cat to go on a little abbreviated sunset tour. So we're gonna go jump in that now and go that way. of seeing a moose this time of year? Tonight, if I had to bet, I'd say they're real happy uh, off in other wetlands eating because there's not much snow. When the snow gets deep, they love to walk along the trails. It's like going on a shopping center and just eating off the side. As we're going through, he's moving the tracks from the left to the right, and he's saying that the Nordic skiers love the first track feeling, so it's always fresh tracks every day from this machine. See the wick? Yep. Yep. Just barely see the wick. That's all we want to see. Okay. Okay. Th this is a um, wannabe lantern. The way they used to build them, and so it's difficult to get the there. All right. Right. And so, you typically have two things that were extraneous here, and that one was a Bible, mm -hmm. and the other was a, an accordion. Wife of 30 years. She missed me last night, but her aim is getting better. <laughs> anyway, so that's where this came from. 